In Zero Coast Firmware Revision 1.5, additional control of the Zero Coast digital settings is now possible using MIDI control change messages. See the video description for a full list of these changes. CC messages can be sent by many MIDI controllers and DAWs. For example, in Ableton, CC messages are sent using modulation tracks and in individual clips using envelopes. For example, in this MIDI clip, we click the E to open the envelopes box. Choose the category MIDI Control to send MIDI messages. Here we can draw values within the clip for any type of MIDI message, including pitch bend, mod wheel, and aftertouch. By example, here is an envelope controlling pitch bend. We can hear its results in the output of the Zero Coast. If we look at the drop-down menu, we can see that it also contains every possible CC message. For example, here I'll send the CC message for portamento time, and we can hear the portamento time increasing when the value goes higher. Portamento time is measured by 60 fourths of the current clock rate. Let's use CC number 114 to turn MIDI clock on. Anything one or higher is on. Now the Zero Coast gets one clock per quarter note and so a portamento value of 63 will make glide time exactly one quarter note, 31 one eighth note, etc. Unfortunately, there was no way to output CC messages in Ableton by a simple knob turn or menu selection. So we have created a Max for Live device to allow quick access to the new settings, as well as most of the Zero Coast's program pages. The device is linked in the video description. To use it, drop it on the same MIDI track you are using to play the O-Coast. This device simply sends the appropriate CC message for the parameter selected from the UI. Remember, this device, Max for Live and Ableton are not required to take advantage of these settings. Anything that is capable of sending CC messages to a MIDI output can be used to do anything we will demonstrate in this video. All the basic MIDI settings of the O-Coast are easily accessible here. Set arpeggiator type, legato, MIDI clock, MIDI channel, etc. without having to enter the program pages. When a clock is patched to the tempo input, the clock output can now be divided by whole numbers. For example, a setting of 4 will cause the clock output to go high, and a new value at the random output every fourth pulse. These CCs also allow for additional options for MIDI control. MIDI A, CV, and Gate can now be set to all the settings that MIDI B can. LFO, for example. Also, for each MIDI input, we can adjust pitch bend range. Here's a modulation track for pitch bend. Any settings made by CC messages can be saved by navigating to the first program page and holding program B. This way you can set up in the studio and maintain the settings you need for a performance without your computer. If you want to reset the zero coast to defaults, hold both program A and program B buttons while powering up the synth. <laughs>